everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you an update on what's happening or should I say not happening with the house move. It's Tuesday evening and we're meant to be completing a week today. However, I'm, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm not gonna lie. It has been a stressful week and it is only Tuesday this week. So I wanted to let you know what's been going on. Um, last Friday I closed down my help to buy and I actually sent all the money over to my solicitor. The funds had cleared by one o'clock. We thought, yep, we're ready to exchange, everyone else was ready, but then the solicitor that I'm buying from said, no, we haven't got time to do it today. We've set the file ready to exchange for Monday. Right, okay, so Monday, yesterday comes along and um, I got, it got to 11 o'clock and I emailed my solicitor and I was like, look, is, is anything happening? And she said, no, 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 not yet, but I will ring you as soon as I hear something so we can go over the fine details of the contract, make sure you're happy with everything and to just confirm we are going to exchange today. Fine, I said, no problem. It got until three o'clock in the afternoon. She finally rang me and said, yeah, we're all ready to exchange. She went through all the details. We were happy with everything. And she said, my building's insurance needed to be in place, ready for exchange, not completion. So she said to give my mortgage broker a ring, James, and to make sure that was all ready to go. So I said, yeah, absolutely fine. Ooh, all exciting. Do we dare get excited? Mm, well, we know how it goes with me, don't we? So anyway, off she rang. She said, um, I'll, I'll email you to confirm when exchange has happened. Great. Off she went. I rang James and James was like, whoa, I didn't realize you were buying. I, 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 you know, I thought, I wasn't sure what was going on. You've really took me off, caught me off guard. But let's have a look at your insurance. Oh, what do you know? It's taken so long to buy this house that your insurance and your income protection, they've both expired so we need to set them up again okay so in between a really busy afternoon of work i was back and forward on the phone with him we were trying to sort out the insurance again get the quotes back in get it all set he got it all ready to go he said i've got a couple of forms i need you to sign if you can get them back to me straight away so um, i was trying to fill those out while, while being at work as well we didn't hear from claire that afternoon my solicitor but i thought you know what maybe she was busy i'll get an email in the morning so this morning i go to work nine o'clock in the morning i get an email from claire my solicitor saying we didn't get time to um exchange contracts yesterday so um we're now hoping it's going to happen today great so i then carried on with my day i filled out the forms for for james i went into town i dropped the forms off for him and um came back and i waited i had a busy morning anyway at work um and then after lunch, uh, cause I had a meeting at lunch, I then thought, you know what, I've not heard anything. So I rang the estate agents and I got um, one of the ladies on the phone who said, I said, you know, how, 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 any news? Have we exchanged? What's going on? And she went, oh, haven't you heard? Yes, we, um, we exchanged about 11 o'clock this morning. Congratulations. I can't believe you're the last one to know. And I was like, that's odd because my solicitor, solicitor is really, really good. And normally she's very quick to tell me what's going on. It, she's not the problem. She never has been the problem. So it's a bit odd that she hasn't let me know. She was going to email me. Oh, well, you know, it's really bad that she hasn't communicated with you, she said. Weird. So anyway, so then I emailed this solicitor and I was like, um, do I dare ask, have we actually exchanged contracts? She emailed me back basically saying, I'm holding the file open until 4.30 today, hoping to finalise exchange later today basically meaning no we haven't with that i rang the estate agents back and i actually got the manager janet herself on the phone and i was like look janet what is going on she's you know what she says it's it's all gone a bit wrong we don't, we don't know what's happening um i've got your vendor on the phone on the other line at the moment going mad we don't know what's going on we need to phone the solicitors of the chain see what's going on right you know, blood starts to run cold now because um, here we go again. I just feel like I'm the most unluckiest person at the moment. Uh, I can't get excited about this purchase. I will not get excited until I get the keys in my hand. Anyway, a few minutes later, I got a phone call back from the estate agent saying, exchange is not gonna happen today because there's, there's about five properties, I think, in the, in the chain. The solicitor at the top of the chain, nobody can get in touch with them. They're just not responding, nothing. We don't know why, 
They're the ones that set the date. They're the ones that said they needed a week between exchange and completion. But they're also the ones that are secretly buying a house, which caused us to delay in the first place since Christmas. So I said to the stage, and what, you know, what, what's, what's going on? And she said, I don't know, can't get in touch. She says, we're stuck in the middle at the moment. Solicitors just literally aren't communicating with each other. They're all blaming each other. But at the moment, it seems like the top of the chain are not budging. We don't know why, but they are delaying things. And I said, are we still looking at the 12th for completion? Because I've kind of organized everything from removals to my broadband to all my utilities, council tax, you name it, everything is set in place. And I've also got to hand this place over, this flat on the 19th. It doesn't give me long. I've got to get the carpets professionally cleaned, the windows, everything. It's all got to tie in. Um, and she was like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> we actually don't know what's going on. We're trying to get in contact with them, but they're literally not communicating. And that was at about four o'clock today. So obviously it got to half past four, my solicitors shut down for the day, not happened. So trying not to panic right now, really, really tired of it. It's been two days of running about back and forth. They told me this week it's gonna be easy once you've exchanged, you know, there's nothing to worry about. You literally just sit there and let it all happen. That's what I keep getting told, but you know what? If only I had the contact details of the people at the top of the chain right now. And I think probably everyone else in the chain is feeling a bit like that. I think they'd be fearing for their lives if we knew where they live. Because there is obviously something going on at the top of the chain to make us all delay. There is absolutely no reason we were all ready to exchange apparently on Friday. I was the one that was holding it up because of my help to buy ISA. But now it seems that we, well, we don't know. So watch this space. I will update you again later in the week once I've actually got some positive news because right now I'm feeling pretty, pretty low. Um, I'm just exhausted with it all. And I've also got the, the people I'm buying off moaning the estate agents about me because I'm not happy to collect the keys in person from them direct. I've said, no, you know what? After all this unlook, unlook, is that a word, bad look? Um, and all the toing and froing. I just want to complete and get the keys from the estate agents and, and finish it off properly. I'm not going to take any risks at all. Um, they're kicking off because I'm inconveniencing them. I don't care at this stage. They're the ones that pick the estate agents in the next town, not the town we're in. So that's their problem. Um, I'm going to be at work on that day and I'm not going to move house on the day of completion either. So as it happened, it's no, no bother for me. But I just, I've just, there's been so much bad luck and misfortune with this, this sale. I don't know whether it's normal, I don't know whether it's just me, but I, I'm not gonna take any more risks. The other thing they're moaning about is because I've let all my utilities know that I'm obviously moving. So they've had a letter from their um, gas and electric supplier saying, oh, we're sorry to hear you're leaving, blah, blah, blah. And they're now thinking, they've said to the estate agents, oh my God, you know, Lisa's obviously gonna get us, our electric's gonna get cut off, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And the estate agent's like, have you done that? And I'm like, well, no, not until like next week. I've set it up to be change over on the 12th, 13th of February when I'm meant to be in the flat, in the house. Um, and they're like, yeah, that's fine. They're obviously just worried about nothing. And I just think, oh my God, do they really think? Well, anyway. Anyway, rant over. I just wanted to update you on this is what is happening at the moment. And I think I'm gonna to go to the gym tonight. I've got a pounding headache, um, but I do feel like I need to get out of the house because once again, I'm just surrounded by boxes and I can't pack, I don't pack. I feel like every time I try and move forward with this, I jinx it. I mean, I was told we did exchange, then I, I then, um, spoke to my removals company saying, you know what, we've exchanged, I can confirm, we're moving in on the 13th, 8.30 in the morning, they're coming, they're gonna be here. And then as literally as soon as I sent that to them and we, we confirmed it, I got a call saying that we have an exchange. So at the moment, I just feel like I jinx everything along the way. And um, yeah, I don't know, I can't even get excited about this anymore. It's literally like a proper nail biter. It's gonna be a nail biter right up until the day of completion, I think. So if you want to follow me on this journey, I would love you to, to be there with me. If you've got any advice at all, any, any words of encouragement, I can really appreciate that right now. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. It would be great to have you following along this 
horrendous journey with me and also don't forget to give me a like if you well, are enjoying the story and also comment down below please do comment i'd love to hear from you i hope to have a more positive update for you later this week let's hope fingers crossed exchange happens tomorrow i'm gonna go to the gym now to de-stress and i shall catch you later in the week thanks for watching